You know, my little friend, it's occurring to me, if I want to be able to find you, I am going to need to do something about my yard. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to House Flipper, the Pets DLC, where we are expanding our horizons by uh, going ahead and helping people out with their pet request, which I think just fits us so, 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 so well. And on our journey in doing that, we are also adopting a whole bunch of little pets that have popped in front of us. Oh my gosh, it needs hygiene. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, and I can take them to job, but oh my goodness, how am I going to take care of our little Rex, who I kind of want to rename, so actually, that's a good idea. Oh, I want to name you after a, a tree. Okay, so we're actually going to rename this puppy. I'm going to roll a dice to see if it's going to be male or female. It's going to be female, so I'm going to rename this puppy to... What's, well, tulip trees are one of my favorite trees. Rhododendrians are all over the place right now, but magnolias magnolias are all over the place so we're gonna go ahead and this is going to be magnolia the helper energetic stubborn fussy eater who apparently needs a bath <laughs> all right if that is the case then i better go ahead and figure out how to like give my doggo a bath do i just say okay i think i need to like get some pet supplies this is so exciting one of my missions in life is to be able to enjoy as many of the real life and pixelated adventures with animals and plants as possible and little magnolia what a name for such a little girl we're gonna call you maggie for short uh i think i need to go ahead and figure out what i need to buy to take care of our puppy this is so much fun because it's just completely different than anything we've done before so let's see there's a cleaning table for animals there's oh a fake stick chew toy okay i'm definitely going to go ahead and get that and put it on the ground all right let's see there we go i'm going to need to give my puppy more ground because there's like no room to be able to play at the moment um what else do we need to use there's a little wash tub for the puppies and the large dogs and small dogs oh my gosh that's so cute and then of course we need to go ahead and have some dog food so let's actually buy this bowl and then we're gonna put this right here there's some paint i do not want my doggo to be eating paint and i need to like completely redo this little shack i didn't really care about like only having a few things here a few things there when it was just me but now i really care because our puppy needs to have a good life here all right let's go ahead and fill this with food for sure and then what else can we go ahead and get for for maggie let's see pee pads under the bowl uh, let's see, there's a cute little paw dog uh, bed right over here that I'm absolutely going to be putting down. There's a doggy treadmill. Are you kidding me? Okay, that's hilarious. Uh, so let's actually get this little paw bed because it looks, oh my gosh, it's huge. <laughs> We're going to see if I can like hide the paw bed in here. There we go. And in amongst the trees so maggie can go ahead and use it and then let's come over and actually check so i we need a wash tub huh okay so let's see can i put the wash tub in the back i probably can but i'm gonna go ahead and actually pull up these weeds and you guys know me i would never usually get rid of plants even if they were weeds because usually what people consider to be weeds are actually really really good for the environment or in the case of dandelions actually fantastic for a lot of native species even though dandelions are an invasive species uh in north america at least um and then can i like call maggie over maggie oh maggie oh my gosh <laughs> Oh my word. All right. So now we can go ahead and we can bathe Maggie. Okay. Do I just... This is so funny. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Are you all done, Maggie? Are you clean now? No needs. Okay. So we can just go ahead and like pick up Maggie. Oh, she's going down. You're all fluffy now. All fluffy and clean and we can just take her to our jobs with us this is so exciting you guys oh my gosh all right well i think today's mission is going to be cleaning up maggie's yard a little bit so let me see what kind of tools i have when and where can i unlock a lawnmower is one of my big questions 
because I think I'm going to need to clear away at least a little bit of this lawn in order to go ahead and give my puppy the best, the best that I possibly can. All right, let's clear this away. Apparently I just have some random outdoor tables for an herb garden. I think I used to have more of this like actually mode, but does it grow over time? Oh, hey Maggie. Oh my gosh. See, this is why we need to go ahead and clear some of this out of the way so we can take good care of our puppy and I can actually see where she is. And then we might actually look and see if there are magnolia trees. Oh, her food dish is already empty. Oh my word. All right, we're gonna have to take care of that too. All right, let me clear this away. Apparently I was getting ready to like try to put down some siding or something. I have so many skills that I've never had to develop before that now I care about developing, like tearing down walls and adding siding. I know we could go ahead and buy a new place for Maggie. Like, we have enough money that we could just... Because I, I like doing the job, so I've just never bothered, like, upgrading my office. But I love this little spot, and I've always dreamed of turning it into, like, a thriving community garden with lots of flowers. Look at Maggie! Oh, she likes having the new grass. Oh, good. Oh, good. Uh, but I've always dreamed about turning this space into, like, a thriving community garden before we go ahead and, like, buy other properties and start flipping them and stuff like that. So, let me clear this away. I could have sworn that I had, like, all of the, the grass cleared away at one point, but that's okay. All right, and then Maggie has her little stick, and then we also have tiling and paneling that I can't do yet. That's fine. Uh, and then, let's see, what else can I do for Maggie? Let's look up magnolias and see if there happens to be... Okay, there's no magnolia trees. Recreation. <gasps> there's dog houses for the outside! Oh my gosh! They're so cute and we could put in a little dove cot. Chicken coops! Oh, oh, be still my heart. Oh, and look at how cute this, this little house is. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's really precious. Okay, I'm I'm kind of in love with this little doghouse. For Maggie's sake, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna buy this little doghouse as well. And then she cannot see her way to her doghouse, so we're gonna clear this we're gonna clear this space. Bless this mess sort of stuff. Except my mess is always a bunch of plants. And then I kinda wanna plant a big tree here in the back corner. There's a whole bunch of tomatoes. Too bad I can't do some farming. However, they are working on the farming DLC. I'm sure you guys have seen that. And now that we have a little bit of a preview of what it's like to take care of animals in House Flipper, I have to say it's a lot more immersive and interactive than I expected. And I bet if you do VR, it's probably like immensely immersive. All right, so we've cleared away a little spot. Excellent. Oh, there's another little, I'm just gonna clear that out of here. There we go. And then let's actually, Maggie, what do you think? <laughs> let's get her some more toys, some more toys and things. There's this large doghouse. Oh my word. Maybe I should actually replace the doghouse I just put down with like this Mondo creation of awesomeness. Cool ash. And then my husband Chips is always saying, no boring colors, no boring colors. So this mahogany is actually kind of nice. And then let's see, we've got gray oak. Let's see. I wish I could like go even more wild. Oh, a little mattress to put inside. Oh, I like the grassy one. And then how do I make this just like, wham, no boring colors. Maybe the cool oak. Maybe we'll do that. I mean, that looks kind of awesome. Dog house, but I still want to give it like kind of a, a woody tone so it fits in. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Okay, let's just go ahead and put this sucker, this gigantic, gigantic creation back here. And then we'll leave some room to be able to add in more trees. Maggie, what do you think? What a like deluxe dog house. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Do I need to, oh, I need to assemble it. <laughs> I actually have to put together the dog house. That's so cute. I was like, I feel like something's missing. The walls are, are just like quite open and transparent. Oh, that's because they weren't even there, Siri, you silly goose. All right, we're building a little dog house. Oh my gosh, this is fun. 
All right, there you go, there you go. We'll put on the little spot and then <gasps> you can change the name. Oh my word. Okay, so I'm probably not gonna be very good at this. Oh my gosh, all right, let's actually erase. All right, we're gonna come in and cancel. Okay, now that I see where things are at the edge. So this is where I would hire one of those like fancy people who knows how to make pretty uh, calligraphy or something, or I would just have chips do it and kind of laugh because you can never decipher the scribbles that we would probably put down as a joke. So Maggie, do they even, I don't think they even teach cursive anymore. So I'm, I'm not that I have a problem with that. There's like a weird culture of like, oh no, they don't teach kids cursive anymore. But I mean, come on, like why? <laughs> Nobody even writes anymore. Do you guys know the kind of like difficulty I have convincing people that a physical joy journal is worth their time? It's also worth it. Like, however you want a joy journal is fine by me. <gasps> I should get a little sitting spot and put a little book out so that I could like do some reading about plants and I should do some reading about books or books. Well, I mean, you couldn't read books about books. That's kind of what my husband does because he's a, a historian. Uh, but what I meant to say was I want to set up like a little joy journal section in our garden now. This is so much more customization and like more customizable for whatever you want to do than I always remember because you have so much freedom to just be like, yeah, actually I do kind of want to come in and I want to put in a giant tree and you can just put in a tree. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. Overhanging tree, a regular tree, a regular tree. Hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, there's some colorful ones too. Oh, that one looks kind of like an oak. I, I have no idea about the Latin names for some of my favorite trees. So let's actually grab this guy. Oh, this one looks so good. And we're gonna plant it behind Maggie's little house. One of the things that Chips and I dream about being able to do one day is to have a home that we can actually plant an oak tree out in the front of. So this, this makes me a little happy to kind of think about that dream. All right, I want one more of those guys to kind of like balance this area out. I like how they come in a variety of sizes, I think. And I wonder if they'll grow. Like, will these, will these trees grow? I hope so. You probably need to go ahead and put them in the ground to ensure that. Oh man, why is it every time I play House Flipper, I get, or excuse me, <clears throat> every time we immerse ourselves in the world, of House Slipper. I wonder what it is that just makes me so happy about like, oh, there was nothing here and now there is something special. And once again, I forgot to do like a before and after little montage thing. I just jumped into life too excited to just dive in and see what kind of actions we could do. But to be honest, it's like really fun because it's so satisfying to be able to make a, a difference and just transform your environment or transform your life. I was listening to a uh, video of someone who has read 100 self-help books. And I, I think that's an accomplishment if you're reading the right books for you. Probably not if you're just reading a bunch of self-help books because the, the mileage varies on the quality you get from those. But he was saying after 100 books, he's learned there is just one rule that matters the most when it comes to wanting to really change your life or make the most of your life or or just feel like you're in alignment with your values. And he said that number one rule is to take action, no matter how small, and that is the key. And so I think that's why it's so addicting to step in with Maggie and our little world here because boom, just like that, we've taken a little bit of action and now we have got a beautiful start to a new a new little home that we can share with our puppers. And it's just really satisfying <laughs> to like turn around and be like, oh, I did make things different. What is here now was not here before. And I can make a difference. Maybe it's just me, but I get so swept away in like everybody seems so far ahead of me in life or in just the idea. Oh, I love planting these, by the way. 
or in in just the idea of uh, how hard it can seem to be to make sense of like where I want to go or what I want to do and so the tasks that I feel like I need to do so that I can try to make a difference in my life feel so overwhelmingly mon monumental. No matter how hard I work, it seems like I never make any progress and I'm not going anywhere. However, that's why this is so nice. So you can sit back and you can go, actually, those trees weren't there before. <laughs> Brain, you were trying to trick me and tell me like, oh, I've, I've not done anything with my life, but you are wrong, Brain. You are wrong. Because clearly we have done something. Oh, that armchair looks really comfy. Let's find a really, really comfy armchair to sit in. And I think it's going to be this one. And then we're absolutely... Oh, monstera leaves! Are you kidding me? Of course I want monstera leaves as the print. There we go. And then let's have... Hmm. There we go. Brown coffee. See? And now we are going ahead and we are creating a spot where we can sit and we can joy journal with all of the plants. Here, let's... Oh, oh, Maggie, Maggie! <laughs> here, girl! Yeah, see, this wasn't here before. So my brain might tell me I'm never making any progress, but it's wrong, because look at this. We absolutely are. I wonder how you carry that over into, into your real life. I think you always, I think we're so stuck looking forward on life, and you're so stuck on the next thing on the list that it's super, super, super important just to be able to slow down now and then and see where you've gone. But I've been talking about that a lot in these episodes, but I can't help it because it's so much fun. Oh, look, oh my gosh, there was just a bunch of like overgrown grass over here now, like before, and now there's gonna be a little spot where we can come and we can do some joy journaling. I love it, all right. So I want, oh, book, advanced gardening, yes. This is so cute. There we go. That looks like a joy journal if you ask me. And then let's see, decorations? Would that be occasional? No, it wouldn't be occasional. Would it be accessories? There we go. And then what about hobbies? Is that where I would find this? There's a wooden case. Ooh, ooh yeah, there's so many books. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at these piles of books. Okay. I'm going to grab this pile of books because it looks closest to like the books all around our house. Because again, married to historian. Uh, yeah, we'll buy these. And put down a couple piles of these books and we'll just daydream that we're doing some journaling and researching can I get like a pen do we have even those kinds of nitty-gritties we probably do also there's all oh, the complete guide to garden oh the little gray cat yeah I want a book about cats I want to read more fiction books and really talk about them over on the vlog channel that's one of my my dreams Maggie I wonder where Maggie went we'll check in in just a second Wicker basket. Oh, there's the little doggy soap dispensers. Oh my gosh. There's desserts that we could go ahead and put out. Oh my word. Uh, let's see. Bright folded towels. There's, oh, teapot. What? Teapot of the night. Saucer of the night. What? That's so funny. You could really decorate so much more than I thought you could. Okay, I'm just going to kind of like glance over and I'm just going to grab stuff that I think I would put into my life. Um... Definitely like a Axe Noho and stuff like that. Oh, there we go. Little small cup for my tea. Yes. I guess I would use a mug sometimes, but let's go for a yellow mug for out here. No boring colors. There we go. And then I will put my teacup right there. Look at that. And now we have a beautiful little joy journal area for Maggie. Oh, she's hungry. Oh, Maggie, I'm so sorry. Here, Maggie, let me go ahead and put this down. And then I'm going to fill it with food. There we go. And our puppy has a new doghouse. 
Look at how cute that is. I love it. She has got a new little dog house. She has got a place to go ahead and enjoy. We're going to need to remember to feed her and all of the other animals that come into our life. But look at this. Oh, there is a before and after. Just take action, no matter how small. And maybe you're not gonna leap right to the very, very end of like the big goals you have in life, but no one ever does. And the journey part is supposed to be, and has been in my life, a huge part of the fun. Oh, Maggie's a grown girl, she's so hungry. Wait, is she also like food gluttony? Cause I think I might have to be really careful about that. <laughs> And then at least you'll start making the changes and you'll start taking the steps on the journey. Don't get discouraged just because you look at like a bunch of weeds and you're like, why isn't this a gorgeous community garden filled with plants and animals yet? Enjoy the process of getting there. Because honestly, if you don't actually take the small steps, you won't go anywhere anyway. But all right, Maggie, let's go ahead and leave everybody here with those wise words of me repeating myself over and over again. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands of more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.